I'm driving home from the gym right now, actually leaving the parking lot. And today starts my third week of my um, preparation. It was kind of cool because we just realized that I actually have seven weeks um, from Friday. I was thinking I was short another week, but I'm an idiot. What can I say? Um, so I was excited. I did my measurements. So if you want to see my video from the other day on my measurements, you can go check out that video. Um, but I did my check-in and because I did so good, um, my coach actually let me have a cheat meal today and I felt really guilty about it. Um, so I'm still going to do my cardio today, <laughs> but she allowed me to have a cheat meal. And then instead of doing seven days a week of cardio for 25 minutes a day, I'm down to only 20 minutes a day, four times a week. So I don't like cardio. So that was exciting for me. Um, today though was back day. And again, if you want to see all the different moves to the back, um, I actually have video clips this time. You can watch the video. I'm sure you already have if you're watching this. Um, or you can also go back to the first week vlog. I put every single um, one that I did. I actually gave you how many and the exact name of the move. But what I did notice was, again, I'm able to go up and on my way. I was a little bit disappointed because the, uh, I don't know how you break a pull-up machine, but the station where you can do pull-ups was broken. So I was highly disappointed in that. So I had to do pull-downs, but on my pull-downs, I'm doing um, my weight and everything still on that. Still following through and just trying to keep the right uh, proper uh, positioning when I'm doing it. The only thing that I cannot go up on, and I'm furious about, um, is the uh, rows, the low row. I have been on the same exact weight for three weeks now, and everything else I've been able to constantly push myself up with, but that one I couldn't. Um, the dumbbell overhead pull, um, where you line on the bench and you do the overhead, the only thing I did different is I did um, all three sets with the 45. I wanted to go up to 50 because I feel like I can do more, but then I get to thinking about it. It puts a lot of strain on um, your back, and if you're not really um, able to handle that weight, you could really hurt yourself. So I think I'm going to stick one more week with just doing 45s again just to make sure that I'm super ready to go up and wait before I do anything because I don't want to hurt myself and push myself back, but I do want to keep pushing myself to the limit. So that's my one tip is if you feel like you can go up and wait, um, you can always just do an extra set of the exact same whatever your highest rep was, whatever you were using, use that again for one more set. So that's what I tried to do on that. And then I did that on, um, oh, I, my dumbbell uh, dead stop rows. I went up in my weight on that too. So I'm excited about it. I feel really good. Um, my food didn't change this week. So all of this week, which is my third week of prep, I'll still be eating the same food. So again, if you're interested in that, go back to my vlog from the first week and you can see that. Um, other than that though, nothing else has changed except my cardio went down to, like I said, 20 minutes, four times a week. <laughs> That's a win. Anyway, thanks for